Since the dawn of man, scientists have longed to travel through time. In the late 1960s, a crack team of geniuses combined their talents to attempt to break the time barrier. In the Florida Keys, Dr. Woodstock P. Havens was given the task of building a special space shuttle. Yeah, but I decided to make a submarine instead, man. So come on and join me as we float through time. Welcome back to the love sub. You stay there, I'll come down. All right, coming right down. Woo! Bombs away! Oh, yeah! Hey, dudes, I have been traveling all through time, and I met this chick named Delilah, and she gave me a haircut, man. <laughs> and then I met a whole bunch of prophets, and dude, I've been really studying these prophets, and it's kind of filling up my brain so much that I don't have enough time to take care of all the stuff on board the love sub. I think I need to get myself a helper. I got to find a solution to this problem. <whistles> oh, hey, handsome, what do you got there? A newspaper? The one ads. Handsome, you put a wand ad for a helper in a 1969 newspaper? You're a genius! Great idea, dude! <laughs> Whoa! That's fast service! I think my helper's on his way! Awesome! He's probably gonna come down the time tube. Whoa! Oh, like crazy, man! <laughs> Place in psychedelic. Oh, Shiloh! Oh, so good to see you. Kids, this is my nephew, Shiloh. What's up, little dudes? High fives for everyone. All right. Yeah, all right. Whoa, like crazy. Like, where am I, man? Oh, dude, you are aboard the love sub. Whoa. Dude. Is this that time-traveling submarine you're working on? Yep, I finished it. And I splashed down right here in the middle of 2015. Whoa, 2015? I'm like in a whole new century, man. <laughs> Radical! <laughs> <laughs> Righteous, man. Hey, now that you're here, you could be my helper. Groovy, babe. Like, what do you need me to do? Well, first thing you can do is uh, hold on to this... Plum line. Oh, sweet. I love eating plum. Oh, no, don't eat that, man. That's oh. not that kind of plum. Oh. No, no. A plum line is a tool that a builder uses to measure if something is straight. Oh, cool. So, like, if I hold it up to, like, this pipe, it'll tell me if it's straight? Yeah, absolutely, dude. That's what it does. Whoa. And you know what? It's just like the one that God gave to Amos. Famous Amos? I love that dude's cookies. No. <laughs> who's famous Amos? Oh, he's like this dude who's, like, famous for having, like, delicious chocolate chip cookies. No, this isn't that Amos. No, no, no. This oh. Amos was a shepherd and a prophet. Oh. And God showed him a plumb line and told him to go to the people of Israel and tell them to straighten up. Oh. Here, I'll tell you what. I'll tap into the power source, and I can teach you more. Ah, oh, cool, yeah. man. It's right over here. Oh, whoa! whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we sprung a leak, dude. Whoa. <laughs> Must be this way. <laughs> totally tubular. Wow, yeah. that's one powerful word. <laughs> it sure is, man. Right on. Now, Amos was a prophet that God sent to the nations. Whoa, like which nations, dude? Well, the nation of Israel and the other nations around it. Uh -huh. See, Amos was different than most prophets. God sent him to the people. Well, who else is he going to send him to, man? 
the squirrels? <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. That would be nuts. <laughs> <laughs> no. See, some of the prophets, they brought their messages to, like, leaders and kings and stuff like oh. that. But Amos, he went straight to the people, especially Whoa. the ones with, like, a lot of nice stuff and nice homes and, and, and plenty of money. Whoa, is that when he gave him his delicious cookies? No, uh, dude, he didn't bring him any cookies. Uh, Amos brought them God's plan. Oh, did he, like, warn them about, like, a flood or, like, a war or, like, a swarm of locusts? No, man, no, he warned the rich people to treat others fairly. Plus, the people had gotten, like, too comfortable, and they, weren't fa- they were starting to follow false gods. Oh. So God sent Amos to warn them that they must return to God and follow him. Well, Here, read what he said. Uh, Amos said, prepare to meet your God, O Israel. Dude, it's the fuzz, man! Oh, no, 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 dude, no, chill out, chill out, man. Take a chill pill. That's no, cool, Shiloh. No, no, three. Those are just the warning lights, man. Oh. They, they point out the prophet's warnings. Oh, is he, like, warning them to, like, prepare their hearts? You got it, bro. What? Yeah, it's like our song. Prepare to meet your heart, oh, Israel. Prepare to meet your heart, oh, Israel. Uh, wicked <laughs> tune, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, did they prepare? Well... The prophets usually give a warning, but then they give a choice and a promise. Oh, cool. So, like, where's the choice? Well, if the warning was in our Bible memory verse song, maybe the choice is too. Oh, man. Well, I wish we had the sheet music so we could hear the words of, like, that Bible memory verse song whose words are based on the words from the Bible. Whoa. Huh? Dude. Yeah? It's a Bible memory verse song, right? Right, sure. So maybe, just maybe, the words are in the Bible. <laughs> oh, dude, you were right. Definitely, I found it. See good and not evil that you may live. Whoa. Oh, you got it, Uncle Woody. You found the choice. <laughs> so God, like, wanted them to do what was right. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got the warning, and we got the choice, so, like, that's it, right? Nope, nope, there's one more thing, kids. What is it? The promise. You got it. We need the promise. But, like, what if there is no promise? Well, I don't know, man. There's almost always a promise. Maybe God's promise is that he'll give us a whole bunch of plums and cookies. Dude, (laughs) would you stop with the plums and cookies? Uh. You're thinking with your stomach, man. (laughs) Besides, I don't think we're going to find God's promise in a cookie jar. Uh, You know where? I know where to find it. We got to search for it. Kids, get out your periscopes. All right, we got to search for that promise. It's Uh, underwater somewhere. uh, Oh, I see some jellies, Yeah, no, that's not (laughs) it. Oh, that's a shark. Oh, oh, I found it. All right. Then the Lord God Almighty will be with you just as you say he is. Oh, I got one. I got one. Yes. (laughs) Oh, you nailed it, man. See, God was saying that if we choose to follow Jesus, his Holy Spirit will always be with us. Whoa, that's totally groovy because we can't do what's right without God's help. Yeah, it's just like God's word is the plumb line next to our life. Whoa. And if we line up with God, his Holy Spirit helps us straighten things up and get right with God. Man, that <laughs> Amos is far out. Yeah, Amos rocks, and so does God. <laughs> and so do those delicious cookies. <laughs> All right, well, we got to split, kids. But until next time, remember, no matter where you are in time, God is good all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Stay right this one, kids. Yeah, all right. Yo, let's go get some cookies. Right this way, dude. <laughs>